Hey there everyone, it's Thackard, and welcome back to more of <laughs> Scoso's Adventures through Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So last time, we retrieved the helm that the goblin was looking for, Urk Dot or something like that. Turned that in, and then we also found some other interesting things, including a new mission. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Oh, uh, what do you want to explode you this thing? Me, Gareth? I was... After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Okay. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, it's I worth it. I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions <laughs> class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke Cellar and grab a few dried billy oh, things for me. Oh, that secret passage. The one that the Weasleys, Weasley, showed Harry in a Prisoner of Azkaban, I believe. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant. Yes. Thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap yep. it with your wand and say, Descendium. Okay, I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince uh, the leech to maybe. help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I solemnly swear that I am up I to no good. I need things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A uh, witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. It's a shame that I can't get the uh, Marauder's Map, but hasn't been invented yet. I'm just checking to see if there is any unidentified stuff. All right, no. All right, let's go sail stuff. Hogsmeade. I know I can sell stuff at different places, but I like selling to this dude because he's close by to the uh, travel point. Plus, he's a clothing guy. What will anyone else do with stuff? You know? Oh, I don't think anyone at the ministry works a day in their life. Good thing the ministry banned underage sorcery. Well, hello there. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. Yes, yes. All right, so quickly, let's see if there's anything here we actually want to wear. I think we keep I know this has slightly more, but I think we're going to sell that one. All right, sell those. So, I mean, you can even sell that because it's not going to be. Maybe it looks cool, though. Okay, even if it looks cool, it's not worth 26. Losing 26 uh, defense. Sorry. Uh, goblins, dark mongrels. Sell all. All of this. Oh. We can sell this one too. One point extra. This has defense, so yeah, we'll sell all those. All right, nope. Still 
still like this one better. I mean, this one's fine and all. I mean, it's 12 better, though. It's significantly better. All right. Oh, I wish I could, like, take some of these and improve upon them. So that's going to be one less... You know what? I'm going to sell all those, too. So I think the only things that we're keeping are these two gloves. And that's it. All right. I'm going to sell a whole bunch off. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Um, 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 um. All right. Sell. 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 Isn't that the one that? Hold up. I thought that was the one I we were wearing. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by when. This is three less. I'm gonna keep this one. Slightly less, but it has bombarded damage. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. So, 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 keep that, so. Well, we're going to have... 10,000 gold. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to... Or less, but okay. If we have to go up against goblins, we will have a anti-goblin set. All right, let's go back and grab that stuff out of the main hall. Yeah. Great hall. Here we go. There's one more uh, fast travel that we haven't unlocked over there somewhere. This is by the, the I believe, the four hourglasses. What are you up to now? Oh, inside. Which is fine because we have to go over here. What do we Pick have up. here? A demigod. Yep. Grab all this stuff. Okay. Revelio. They say her body is the sky. There it is. The yawning gargoyle. Although the, uh, this smoke-breathing gargoyle might appear to be enchanted, it is actually the Hufflepuff common room chimney. Ah, okay. What? Get over here. Revelio. What's out here? I haven't been out here yet. What do you think Black's wife is like? She must be miserable. Forgot to read the chapter of the today. I have to say that's a heck of a view, y'all. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Um, hmm. Find the statue. Not going to find the statue. We're going to go to Beast's class. Whee! Whoa! 
Low bridge. Wait. It's time for class. Again. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. A dodo? They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over exaggerates <clears throat> sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Yeah. Ah! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Uh. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can okay. use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. The beast petting brush is used to nurture a magical beast. Tap T and then hover over the beast petting brush. Hold. Okay. Really, it takes up one of these slots. Of how much I do not like that. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast food? All right. Where's the one where I hit him with a hammer? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good All news. Right. He seems very nice. He We're is. Not. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. What's his ambition? Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting. Why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? Measles. This way. The Whatever measles measles are over is. Here. What's a measle? Oh, couple of measle whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid thing. Oh. oh, he's gonna get it, isn't he? What in Merlin's name are you doing? Uh, tush, tush, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. Hmm. Persephone, Her really? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really hey. not funny. It's not very Rayburn Claw y. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was onto them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Okay, fine. And brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Brush the keezels. <laughs> Her measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. Okay. It appears our time has come to an end. Measles have been fed. Pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? I'm right oh. here. There you are. Can you give I me would a new like assignment? A moment, please. 
Excellence. Hawk. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. I'm a nasal keeper. How did you find your first beast's lesson? Easy peasy. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. True. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. This guy. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Kill the Professor poachers. Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Okay. Psst. Psst. Over here. Ah, uh, yes. What's up, Poppy? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. Brutes? You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my grand <laughs> and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. The dark forest? You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Uh-oh. Is this like a rendezvous? I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Uh-oh. I think I got a girlfriend. Didn't even know it, but I think, I think it's happening. <laughs> Do you want to go out into the woods? I have someone I want you to meet. It's my pet kit. Quite cat. the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better than I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Mm -mm. Stand back. <gasps> hippogriff. Please say it's a hippogriff. <gasps> it's a hippogriff. Buckbeak. Sure looks like Buckbeak. I wonder how old Buckbeak is. Please meet High Wing. High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? I don't have Go any on, weasels though, or ferrets. Down. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before yes. you approach them. We must bow and then wait to be bowed too. B bow. Bow. Wait for the return bow. More bowing. Okay, we're good to go now. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. Oh, that's because I I've watched the movie. Every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You what wouldn't about know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Well, what about a... A ferret? She... She needs a ferret.
Okay, she likes me. Oh, now we're gonna go for a ride? Nope. Shame. Having a hippogriff for a friend is so, worth it. What did you think of High Wing? Brilliant. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? Excellent. I've seen it firsthand with Is her. Is this a summon? What exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry mm. to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. Let's I'm just not sure what. Wipe them out. All of them. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. All right. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more yes. I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. On my hippogriff. I want a hippogriff. All right, um... Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. I just helped you. Uh, meet Sebastian and Feldcroft. All right. The elf, the knapsack, and the loom. Sending for sweets. Hail of Roland Oaks. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts. She hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Uh-oh. Now that you've attended Beast's <coughs> class, I've asked <coughs> Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. Okay. I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Yeah. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Okay, in the courtyard. Easy peasy. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, <clears throat> he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried Probably about should. my uncle or am I overthinking this? Uh, I'd be worried. I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. <clears throat> Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. 
She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he I'll can handle it. himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Uh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. gobbledygook. But he recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. <sighs> Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. Hmm. Okay. I take it you and your uncle are close. Hey, it we sounds are. it. My mother died when I was born, and oh. I lost my father when I was five. Ooh. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. Okay. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls <clears> to let me know that he's all right. Well, let's go find him. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. All right. It's never been this long. I just know something happened. We have a couple things. First of all, let's get this stuff back where it should be. And then, you know what, talents, let's grab the next spell thingy. There we go. We have a new set of spells we can set up. Where is this guy at? World map. Way up there. Okay, um. Travel here and then we'll fly on over. the river okay he's that direction I hope you have your affairs in order why wouldn't I all right I'm just gonna run this I could fly it but Oh, okay, they see me. Tricky little cake mapper. You'll have to fight him before we forget about that goblin helm, you nick. Oh. They know about the goblin helm. Luck. Nothing more than luck. Oh, that'll do it. Incendio. Right, oh. gymnastics won't save you. Defendo, Fernando. What okay. have you done? I was too late on that one. I'm trying to I'm trying to get it. There we go. That's a perfect one. I'm trying to figure out the perfect send it back at him. Cuz there are a couple of uh talents that are based around the perfect one. Rebellion. If like you do perfect, you get extra not healing, but you get extra stuff as well as like sending multiple return fired things back at him, which sounds quite nice. We do need to make some more healing potions. Luckily, we grabbed quite a few more bits and pieces for it. Wigan weld we need. We grab those, uh, they're kind of like purple mushrooms from inside caves and such. Hmm. Could this be Mr. Oaks's campsite? Well, that's not good. Ranrock's loyalists, just ahead. 
Into the dude. What? Why are you doing that? Stop spinning into the dude. Well, is that your best? Incendio. Now to find right. what happened here. That was not ideal. Rebellion. Let's take all this stuff first. All right. It looks like Historic's trade journal. Renrock's lot agreed to meet, but I do feel a tad uneasy. They amended the request and were angry when I asked questions. I overheard some of their plans in gobbledygook. They were after my rare metal deposits that are suitable for drilling. I'm afraid of upsetting them further. They seem rather volatile, and I need this transaction to happen. Perhaps we can work out a compromise. Perhaps not. Rolling Oaks. Revelio. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Okay. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Pork lump juice. Excellent. Rebellion. Um. T. Here we go. Going in. The going in. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Is that it? Revelio. Okay. Well, we've cleared the camp. Now we just have to follow this guy. He has a map that we have to follow. Although we haven't found the other map, part of the map. Oh, no, we did. No, we did grab that other map. F view. I'm assuming this is where we started. So we follow the river till we get to the ruins. Oh, I know where those ruins are. Actually, I know exactly where this is. You know what? I'm pretty certain I do. Keep going. Pretty certain those are the ruins on the way to Hogsmeade. So like right here. Hmm. 
This place has seen better days. Maybe this is where we need to be? Rependo. Incendio. All right, so this is not where we need to be, but that might have fallen in the water there. Right, but I'm pretty sure that's the part of his map, isn't it? Kind of like the last section of it, this one here. Yeah, so Next to it, we cross over and there's a thing with a grate. So we're looking for a thing with a grate. Uh, 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 what is this? What is this? Rebellion. Oh, okay. Uh, Elahasti fudge made with the leaves of the Elahastri tree. The fudge is the delightful confection that causes uncontrollable laughter. Right, so we cross over here. It has to be right around here somewhere. Spiders. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty certain that's where we're supposed to be, so question then is where do we Castle. go from here must have been quite stately in its time right mm -hmm -hmm. okay let's take a look at this again I was figuring this was going to be really easy and quick. Maybe it's a different set of ruins. Could be a different set of ruins. Let's backtrack to where this guy was. Uh oh. I think I've lost where he was. He was back here somewhere. Is that the camp? Rut Rose. 
I might have slightly gotten lost. Oh well. I guess we're gonna have to pick this one up next time because I believe I am no longer in the right location. I'm gonna have to find where I went the wrong way and get back on track. I'll stick him like a nocktail. Yeah, stick him like a nocktail or whatever that means. Oh, oopsies. That was, yeah. Okay, guys, that's gonna be it for today. I am going to have to figure out where I was and and uh, try and work my way back again. So I will catch you all next time. And we will try and knock out more of these side missions. So talk to you later. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. You guys are what makes this channel grow. So hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post something new or go live. And please always remember to bring it no matter what you do.